Putin is the only enemy. But I do feel ashamed. The United Kingdom signed the Budapest Accord in 1994, guaranteeing the territorial yes, integrity yeah, yeah. of Ukraine. 23 men who once sat on these benches gave their lives for plucky little Belgium. They have shields down that end. 22 did the same for Poland. They have shields down this end. And we're not guaranteeing the territorial integrity of Ukraine. We're not even, I don't want war, nobody wants war, but we're not even sanctioning Sergei Shoigu, the Russian defence minister yet, nor Igor Osipov, the commander of the Black Sea Fleet, or Osmanov, Sechin, Peskov, Abramovich, Roldugin, or the members of the Russian Duma who voted for this war. Why don't we use parliamentary privilege to get this out there so the lawyers can't attack the sanctions that we must surely bring rapidly today? Yeah. Uh, Mr Speaker, I, I, I hear him and I know, I know that the whole uh, House uh, will understand his, his feelings and his frustration that, uh, that no country in the West is going directly to the support of the Ukrainians with, uh, with direct military assistance. And, uh, and that is a, a reality that we simply have to accept because the consequences, the consequences of a direct confrontation between uh, the UK and, uh, and Russia would be, I think, uh, and indeed other Western countries and Russia, would not be easy to control. And if I can repeat the, the point I made earlier, I think they would play directly into Putin's narrative. That this is about, that he says it's about him versus the West. He says it's about him uh, versus NATO. We say it's about him versus the Ukrainian people, Mr. Speaker. And that's, uh, uh, that is, I'm afraid, the difference. And as for his, as for his, as for his, as for what he says about, uh, about shame, actually, I'm proud of what the UK has been able to do so far. I'm, I'm proud, uh, that, we, I'm proud that we've, we've given a lead not just on sanctions, Mr Speaker, uh, where we insisted on the toughest measures, including uh, for SWIFT, which had a dramatic effect, but also we were in the lead, Mr Speaker, in uh, all European countries in offering military assistance to Ukraine, and we will continue to do so. Uh, I know that uh, he would like to go further. I understand, if I understand him correctly, uh, he would like to go further, but I can tell the House uh, that we are going to continue to go further, not just with military assistance, but also by tightening the vice on the Putin regime.